My name is John Wright. I'm the manager of Innovative Training Solutions here at OETIO. OETIO stands for the Operating Engineers Training Institute of Ontario. Uh, we train heavy equipment operators, including earth moving apprentices and uh, crane apprentices. My name is Richard Coolis. I'm the director of training at Operating Engineers Training Institute of Ontario. OETIO is a big believer in simulation, and we believe all training institutes should um, have them in their program. And we find the students that apply themselves to the simulation almost shave a week off their practical training. We are one of the only schools that utilizes uh, simulation to the extent that we do. The simulation component of their training certainly produces a better operator in the end, and we feel that our operators are a step ahead of the game. We feel as though we put out the best participant because we have the unlimited simulation. My name is Reg Rice. Uh, I'm an instructor here at OETIO. I've almost been here two years. So, Spotter, which side would you like our spoil pop? I like learning at my own pace because everyone kind of has their own speed. Like some people will learn really quick, and other people it takes a little bit more time. So, I like that. Thank you guys. So, you also got to see your, your wheels down below. You got to watch that don't contact rims and tires of the truck. Uh, if I got thrown on a machine before, on a simulator or training, anything like that, I think it would be a lot more stressful. Here on the Sims, you can press reset at any point in time. We're out there. There's a lot more to lose if you do get into a situation. First time I got into the simulator, I was shocked. I didn't actually think it was going to be as realistic as it is. It's like being out in an actual machine. The seat motion as well as the screen, it all works together and it's a very realistic thing and, and that's, it's hard to explain but it's very realistic. Yeah, I'm the one that's all the damage. It's, it's entertaining for them, they enjoy it and uh, they're also learning so they're having fun while they're learning which is good. It's really, it's really good. There's a significant amount of danger with putting an apprentice on a machine without having any experience on it. Simulators certainly allow the apprentice to get some hands-on before they step into the cab and what that really does is it takes the wear and tear off our machines. Using simulation is a, is a huge cost savings. If we didn't have simulation and the student needed to enhance his skills, we would actually have to put him on a machine where, you know, these machines are very costly. Expense to run them per hour is, is, is extremely high. Vortex simulators have definitely put OETIO at the forefront of training. We do a lot of trade shows throughout the year. We've had a lot of clients come through the door just by trying the simulator. And usually in our uh, feedback forms that we get at the end of our training sessions, uh, they'll indicate how much they enjoyed the simulation program. I've seen instructors over the years kind of balk at the idea of simulation. The best thing I could, I could say to that type of instructor is get on it and try it. They've come quite a long way over the years and that's one um, testament to uh, CM Labs' uh, staying power in, in the field is that um, there's always been new um, versions of the simulator all the way through so I've asked those same people to step back onto the newer simulators and the, the response has been overwhelming. So we have well, lots of plans for simulation moving forward. Whatever machine they come here for we want them to have the opportunity to do, use a Vortex simulator. I know for a fact that uh, Vortex has the best simulations in the world. Mm -hmm.